James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today's October 10th, 2022, 1.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Earlier in the day, we had our first M solar flare of the day, and it came in around an M1.1 solar flare. We have just had a much stronger M flare. Looks like it's come in around an M2.4. We'll get a better reading on that if we can. There's a 2.43. This is a very powerful M flare. Let's take a look at where it came from and where it's headed. All right, the first M flare of the day came from Sunspot AR3112, which has been unimpressive to date. We've just had another much stronger M flare. It looks like it might have originated from the same place. Both would be inbound with a coronal mass ejection. Both would be geomagnetically effective to Earth, i.e. have an Earth component to them. You can see the flare itself. It does look like a powerful flare. And that's the M2.4 plus flare that just occurred. Heading over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, we see that the X-rays and radiation squarely hit the northern portion of South America and some of the Caribbean. This is the second M flare that we just saw. Uh, there was some problems with ham radios and marine radios throughout the area. And just in case you didn't know, everyone's been getting their radiation bath all day long. Something we really haven't seen until this year. This constant radiation hitting all living things on the planet. This was a fairly long duration M flare. I will say, and so was the first one today, the M1.1, that some say did not even generate a CME, but was a long-lasting M flare. We know this generated a CME, and we know that it is directly earth-facing and inbound, period. You are looking here at the first M flare. It actually occurred just... At the beginning of the day, today, October 10th, it came out of AR3112, an M1 class solar flare, but they're thinking that it is not going to create a CME, although it sure looks like it did to me, and there will be no effects to Earth, which I seriously doubt. Let's keep remembering today, early on the 10th, and later on the 10th. So we'll be looking later on the 11th into the 12th for a geomagnetic storm, even though we've been told we won't have one. As you can see here from Noah's KP index breakdown, October 10th, 11th, and 12th, nothing has been forecasted except for a geomagnetic storm this evening from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central Time here in the U.S., and I don't know what generated that because, of course, there has been no Earth-directed solar flares of late, and there are no coral holes that have been Earth-facing either. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share and subscribe. Always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.